This is the Talk Headlines for Frico Talks the News on Wednesday, May 6th, 2020. My name is Frico with Frico.com. Today's top headline is Metal Printing in 3D Got Easier and Cheaper with LED. So this is an excerpt from SlashGear.com. New metal 3D printer uses LED light source. Researchers at Graz University of Technology have created a new type of 3D printer that uses LED instead of laser sources for additive manufacturing of metal parts. The new 3D printer can optimize 3D metal printing for construction time, metal powder consumption, device costs, and post-processing work. The team behind the 3D printer has applied for a patent on the technology. So, if you if you want to go, you can go to the article and give you a lot more specifics about exactly what it entails. And I don't really necessarily want to go over that, but yeah, and you can go back and and read yourself. But uh, in essence, I'll get. I'll, I'll just cut down to, to this part right here. Let's just do this part. All right. The lens system allows the beam. Don't worry about the lens. What the lens system is. Just trust me. Just trust me. Okay. Trust me. I'm driving the bus. It's everything's fine. The lens system allows the beam to be changed between point whatever it, these different millimeter sizes during the melting process. The changeable LED focus allows larger volumes to be melted per unit of time without having to do filigree internal in structures the lack of internal filigree structures reduces the production time of components and fuel cell or medical te- uh, or medical technology production by a factor of 20 now what i don't know if that factor of 20 that means it's 20 times so slower or faster or if 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 the current time is 20 times slower I don't know how that applies. I I haven't been able to figure that out. You guys can probably figure it out and you're like, dude, how do you not understand this? It happens. The process also means that in contrast to other metal metal melting metal melting systems. Hold on. There we go. There's the word. There's the little thing. I just have a feeling that this could be a winner. Hold on. Let's see if we could put this up here because I'm thinking that this is going to look good. This could be the necessary. Let's see. In the small letterings. Let me think. In the small letterings metal melting cyst. And I think it's cyst. Cyst with a, yeah, yeah, with a dot. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you wouldn't want to spell that out. You don't do that. This is metal melting cyst. You don't need to do that. There we go. Let's set the background for you. We're gonna we're gonna get a little background for this because this deserves a little background to cheer. And we're just gonna we're not doing much like if I was really doing this where I really wanted it to look decent, I would take a lot more time to figure out stuff, but that's not the purpose of this. It's just it's just this. It's just it's just look at the power of text. Oh, the factitious power of, of text on screen. And the more official, the more crafted I make this look, the more weight it would have. But metal melting cyst. I think that's what we got up there. And I think that is a winner. <coughs> We're just going to leave that up there. I think that says it all. The process also means that in contrast to other metal melting systems, the component is assembled from top to bottom, leaving the component exposed and reducing powder required to a minimum. Now, I don't know what that means, by, but it means significantly less. Necessary post-processing can be carried out during the printing process. Currently, the printer is being used to produce bio resor- Res- oh, okay. Never uh, resorbable. So I'm assuming. Okay, so bioresorbable. Bioresorbable. Okay. Okay, bioresorbable. Ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves a, a winning combination here. Oh, I was looking up uh, these dogs, Cavamos. Let me go here. I don't want to go in there. 
All right, let's do this. What do we got? Bioresorbable. Ah, a bioresorbable stent, also called bioresorbable scaffold, biodegradable stent or naturally dissolving stent, serves the same purpose, but is manufactured from material that may dissolve or be absorbed in the body. So we're talking about materials that you can absorb. Okay, so the printer is being used to produce bioresorbable metal implants. Whoa, hold on. They're metal, but they can be resorb. Resorb, by the way, is resorb is now a word, and I'm loving it. I mean, it's always been a word, but it's just new to me, so it's it's new to the family. Welcome back. Welcome to the to to, to the Frico fam of, of of lexicology or whatever. Resorb, absorb something again. Resorb. Physiology. Remove cells or a tissue structure by gradual breakdown into component materials and dispersal in the circulation. Bone tissue will be resorbed. Wow. So there you go. That is fascinating. Incredible. Let me get that little button that I press. This is only good if it is free tech. Ungridded tech ungrid the tech if this tech is ungridded if it's not exclusively locked up and placed in the hands of the few once again then this is just another way that you're lowering the cost of of independent production and you're raising the cost of large-scale systems preventing people from figuring that out it's making it harder and harder for them to figure this, for them to prevent us. We could have, in 2003, we had more than enough technological development at that point that we could have started a massive building project in this country, especially targeting our, targeting our blighted areas. And we could have started a mess. We could have rebuilt this country in ways in, 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 ways in which the structures themselves would would necessitate the creation of consensual exchange over cooperative and certainly over coercive exchange and it would have by now it would have undone the powers you would have not seen you wouldn't there may be a couple of leviathons still left at this point but there wouldn't be many the cost of large scale systems has maybe for 20 plus years been more than the cost of small scale systems could could provide the the, the shift uh, in the balance of power regarding the the technological favoring of the large or the small scale that tilt happened maybe 20 years ago and uh, most of what you have seen most of the dramas that you see before you these are vehicles of power that have been allowed to foment or been suppressed in varying degrees these are the vehicles of power that these folks who derived their advantage from holding up resources in artificial ways especially using ip and patents you have ip and patenting that are shutting down farms from being able to grow certain plants because there are violations of somebody's patent they're literally selling the, the, the creation of, of efficient seeds as, as, as property. Another harvesting of how many mines. How many mines that worked on that project will ever receive anywhere near the benefit that the, the two or three people that hold the vast, even if they don't hold the vast majority, they hold the, the by far and away the largest plurality of, of stakes that magically gets them this perpetual cut of the pie because their money is sitting there. There's not even real money at that, but that's another story. That's the system that prevents these technology. These technologies could already be in your homes. You could already have a, an affordable metal 3D printer that any it, it, you lose a screw, you just print one. And whatever, yeah, yeah, yeah. When you buy things, you automatically would scan it into your printer. So the printer, it would get a message. 
maybe maybe it would figure it out itself you scan it or maybe it's got a little thing that it just that thing has an, all the all the information all the specs everything so anything that's wrong you scan your thing and says this is what's wrong and it scans it says okay i see the part broken and this is what you need and then it prints it out and then you can replace it or maybe you just put this thing in a in a, in a system that it gets ground down and and most of you, you're going to lose some in the exchange, but most of it will survive. You'll be able to recycle it and literally just rebuild it. Just why worry about all the problem? Oh, man, no, no, no. I'll just, I'll just dash it and rebuild it, and it'll be as good as new. Literally, it will be. It will be new. It'll be new. It'll be like that. That could already be here. And when that is here, how do, how do they keep us dependent on their... How does Amazon survive if we can... We, if we could do Amazon in our backyard and, and, and cost less and have more control over our lives, more sovereignty over our lives. I don't like the word sovereignty, though, because I don't sovereignty implies ownership and I don't believe in ownership. I, I don't believe that we're capable of owning our own minds, let alone anything else. Now, if you I know that most of you, many of you have some varying degrees of commitment to the whole ownership being the foundation of truth and justice and glory. But uh, that's okay if you do, but I personally do not. But uh, I don't begrudge you having your standards of ownership either on the main. But I like the word stewardship much better because that's about the closest that we can come. And this is what I'm mostly vouching for, for my human brothers and sisters and whatnots, is uh, this idea that uh, we should all... It would be in all of our best interest. Those of us that are weak and broken and lost, those of us that are, are, are have, have no hope of, of being superheroes anytime soon, have no hope of having the citadelian resources it would require for us to not suffer the consequences of our crappy actions. And we all understand, we who understand how crappy we are, we all are. We're all wonderful and we're all crappy. It's all true. Those of us that understand that, we understand how significantly important it is that others around us think in consensual ways as well, that act consensually, because we're going to need their mercy and they're going to need ours. For those of us that understand this, these are the types of technologies that will create the, the, the opportunities for consensual exchange. When human beings don't have to go to Amazon or Walmart and they can just go up maybe, maybe sometimes they go to their their neighborhood micro factory and maybe sometimes they just small enough whatever or they like it a certain way and only they know how to do they they do it themselves in their own homes that's the world that can be here right now that's a huge part of of empowering human beings now where you're gonna have there's all kinds of issues as well as far as being able to use resources that are readily available in your region. So there's other, there's all kinds of stuff that's happening out there that uh, I, I, I would suspect would be dramatically heightened, especially among the locals, the, the, the local tech wars that would occur, wonderful tech wars, not, not these types of tech wars where you have everything A company competing with everything B companies to eventually only have everything company. Let's get to this next headline, though. Did China cover to secure coronavirus supplies at world expense? Signs point to yes. U.S. Intel. This is an excerpt from Valley News Live. U.S. Intel thinks China saved mum on virus early on to grab supplies. U.S. officials believe China covered up the extent of the coronavirus coronavirus outbreak and how contagious the disease is to stock up on medical supplies needed to respond to it. Intelligence documents show Chinese leaders intentionally concealed the severity of the pandemic. I'm not going to read the rest of this. I have no idea. What's fact or fiction when it comes to these nation states and, and the cloaks and daggers and whatnots? I could believe almost anything. Oh, let me let me remove that. I think we're done with you. I think metal melting system is done. Metal melting cyst. Metal melting cyst. But it's wonderful. It's wonderful. Hope you guys got the visceral exchange that I got from that whole that whole uh, textual experience like kind of little, kind of its own kind of little mini verbal visual poem thing going on there uh i don't know anything about this i thought this was worth noting so i put it here i put it in the headline for this reason uh, i ended up talking way too long about the 3d metal printer 
So that means China, that means you get even less coverage here. But who knows? Who knows? I don't judge these nation states morally I, within their nation state parameters. I don't really believe that there's any nobility between the United States and the China that I would care to address as more favoring one or the other. I favor the United States because my people that are surrounding me that are live near me, my geographical companions and all that, and they're my peoples. They're proximal peoples, but they're my peoples. So uh, I favor the United States, but I favor the United States not winning in a way that that harms Chinese people. I don't want to harm Chinese people just to make my life easier or better. So I don't know what to say about it. Other than uh, I would prefer the United States of America not be defeated by China in any capacity. Because I think that would be very bad for everything, all of us, really, the whole freaking world. It would be highly disadvantageous for us to see that happen. So, and, and mostly that is it's not because of the Chinese people. It is because, first and foremost, the one who we must hold accountable is Chairman Z. He's the one who's, who's turned China into to what you're seeing emerge right now. He's the one. But he's no threat to America if we don't have Americans from within that have consistently been willing to sell us out. Literally, figuratively, in very real blood and bone, Americans have died kind of ways. Without them, he has no power over the United States of America. And honestly, I don't want any power over him either, over them, uh, them or him or any any of them either. I just I just want them not to not to influence our markets with their fascistic ideology. I don't want fascism in any form, and I don't want left fascism any more than I want right fascism. Yes, there is a left fascism. You want to see what left fascism looks like? I mean, if you want to use those words, I don't even like those left-right things. They mean nothing to me, but I know you guys all love it, so I can't escape it. But those left-right fascism things, nah, I'm not for any of them. And 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 Chairman Z's level of fascism is even more heightened and 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 exaggerated and terrifying, at least from a consensual perspective. Than, than I reel against when I talk about the, the authoritarian SJWs in America. They're, they're fascists too. They're, they're quote unquote left fascists. They're remarkably, remarkably similar to the worst of the worst of the, uh, of, of the right fascists, which are the not all traditional nationalist or right fascists, but there's a significant percentage of them that really are right fascists. And they're remarkably similar in, in so many ways in their tactics and their m m appeals to moralities in so, so many ways. They're so, so similar. It's not the horseshoe thing because they're not exactly, uh, 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 they're, they're, they're significant enough differences from, for, 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 from them. But in terms of, of how they control their people and how, well, in terms of essentially how they control their people, how they manipulate their people to, 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 to actions that they want them to take is, is they both rely heavily, 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 heavily on, on really, really hardcore angels and demons narratives that, that, that condemn whole swaths of people for historic sins, just, just, just in, in, in one faction or in one, one element. So let's, let, you know what, let's just get to this last headline here. WHO pushes pro-China narrative on Wuhan accusation. Oh, I forgot I did this. I don't normally do this. Two China stories in a row here. WHO says no proof from U.S. On oh, I know why I did this, because I wanted to show the contrast of uh, all these things that I'm saying. about. I can, I can speak with some degree of certainty about who Ch Chairman Z is and why I'm so fundamentally opposed to China continuing to to increase its influence over over any world any world market let alone american markets but i can't say as to what is fact or fiction regarding the coronavirus and here i have the who totally contradicting the u.s quote-unquote experts does that mean the who is right does that mean the u.s experts are right is it because 
I mean, I'm American. I do favor America, and I'm, I totally do favor America. I'm still not an idiot, <laughs> and I know the nature of nation states, and I know our nation state is very capable of being every bit as duplicitous as China. The only thing that limits our American state as far as its level of fascism goes is uh, essentially its fear that we will not accept the level of fascism that right now the Chinese people do. But we didn't go through we didn't go through Chairman Mao. We, we didn't go through something like that. So there but by the grace of God, if you lived in China, you would be like most Chinese people too, as probably would I as well. I, I would probably, all things being equal, even in America, it was various circumstances that didn't end up with me comfortably settling into a faction. It was much more likely that I would have than not. It's just a weird circumstance that I didn't. So it's not because of my brains or any special anything. It's just, just, just the reality of power. It's how things things emerge. And so most of you, if you lived in China, you would be a Chairman Z fan. You'd be very ticked off at you. Would be you thinking I was literally the devil for calling him Chairman Z, and I would too probably. I'd say eighty five percent, most likely. I would probably be one of these folks too. That's why I don't judge him. I judge Chairman Z because he knows full well what he's doing. He knows he's just he's just the emperor of the universe like any other politicians in America when they look into the mirror they say every every senator looks in the mirror and sees the next president now they see the next emperor of the universe they all want to be emperor of the universe they wouldn't stop there there are very few I guess you would say there are very few Hadrians in the world right after Trajan came Hadrian Trajan extended the Roman Empire to its furthest reaches that it would ever, ever have, including actually for a time taking over Mesopotamia. And Trajan came back and he, he pulled he pulled the boundaries back. I mean Hadrian came back and he built the people he pulled the boundaries back and he literally built walls. Literally built walls. He was like the Donald Trump of his time. Wall builder. But he was actually not so much building walls to keep people out. He was trying to set the boundaries for the Romans to say, dude, we're not doing past this. We can't go this. We can't go past this. This is impractical. He, he, he recognized the extent of what was. Very, very few people like that. Very, very few. They come along. I mean, Donald Trump isn't one of those people, so I don't really mean to compare him to Hadrian. That was a bit of a joke. Uh, so, uh, but maybe in part, he is kind of like Hadrian. He does respect the boundaries of the American reality. Probably more than most. Now, he does not respect the boundaries of anything else other than that. And that's his problem. But uh, I think he does respect the boundaries of that. So I don't know what to say about this. What is what and who is what? You figure it out. And you won't be able to figure it out because there's no reliable source out there. Let's. Where is this source from again? This is France 24. France 24 is... Honestly, as news outlets go, I kind of trust France 24. Generally, they're... like Like most outlets, they have a what you would call left-leaning lean, but they are not at all shrill. They don't, I don't see them using, well, I mean, listen, if CNN was like France 24, I would be watching CNN today because I'd be like, well, I got a, a source that's actually going to at least it, it communicate to me like I'm a freaking adult. So I'll say that France 24 communicates with you like you're an adult and that in and of itself, that's a big deal. Because there's not a lot of people doing that anymore these days. The old adulting thing has has left the building. You have politicians. You have Chuck Schumer telling uh, chief justices that if they rule a certain way, you better watch out because you're going to reap the world. And that's how children talk. That's like children talking on playgrounds. And Donnie Boy, what he says to people every day. I mean, the press deserves every bit of what he gives them. But still, it's like, you can't help but not notice that the President of the United States speaks like he has crayons in his mouth. And he writes like he, metaphorically, he writes. It's, and he's not alone. Everyone, everyone's all that crayon language. That's why I call it just crayon language. We live in the crayon times. Coronaville is nested within the age of crayon. Coronaville is just the maybe the most significant, we'll see, probably the most significant chapter of Crayonville, but Coronaville is a subset of Crayonville, and it may be what hopefully takes us out of Crayonville, 
We stop talking to each other like we're imbeciles and bloodthirsty murderers. That'd be great. Get Frico's Daily Freaks. Just enter your email and click subscribe. You get that on Frico.com. Also, Frico.com daily. This has been the 4 p.m. show on the Action Butza YouTube channel. And coming up next, the 5 o'clock show is going to be the top feature. Or the talk feature, I should say. Not the top feature. There is no top feature. There's only one feature a day. So it's just, it's just the talk feature. That talk feature. The title of the talk feature is Amazon's Top Divides Over Coronaville Worker Clampdown. Now that's coming up at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Unless, of course, you're watching on the DLive.TV slash Freako, F-R-E-E-Q-O channel. In which case, you don't have to wait.